you know, uh, waveform, even matchup, you know, the rest of the Gommel staff, Red Bull, um, Red Bull Canada, excuse me, and Juke.gg. Anytime they get together, you know you're going to be in for a treat, man. So I'm, I'm super hyped for this. It's going to be good. You know, there's a lot of tournaments that I just can't really, you know, uphold the luster because, you know what I'm saying, like they're at home. Gommel's not one of them, though. Gommel delivers inside and out. Oh, yes. And here we go. And Marky on the Jiggly Buff. Jiggly Buff did get Buff not this patch, but um, I believe it's like a couple patches before as well. No, a little bit more viable. I, I would say, uh, I would say Team Link's the better character though. Still, I don't have too much like faith in Puff just because it's just he, he's a glass cannon in terms of like what you get and then like what you get. Yeah, and I also think you know, Team Link is kind of a uh, kind of cut and dry for the most part. Like I think you know what you get yourself into when you play this character versus when you play against him as well. Um, you know, oh, oh my I'm goodness, out. you're yeah, not so. up being me. Yeah. All righty, <laughs> my own curse. Hey, I don't. <laughs> Blame though, man. Upbeat by the links is a very demoralizing experience as somebody who plays big yeah. links, so I'm, it's all right. All their upbeats are actually broken. Um, is maybe one of the better ones because it kills too, and it in the area is so big, pretty quick. Yeah, that and I believe like because young links, um, up special is especially when it's grounded, usually used as a combo starter at early right. percent, so you can get like upbeat, up air, crazy stuff like that. And then links, of course, is just the mean out of shield option. Yep. Oh, back throw. Back throw could kill on Smash. Oh. Damn, did they? Did they? Uh, back throw? Man, I, I swear that was like. Yeah, this is like one of the moves where, like, when you see a happy, you're like, this feels like death, but I'm not sure if I can call it yet. Yeah. So, Rocket, we got Marco still. Uh, doing an incredible job and just like he's not really getting hit by anything too impactful that back here does connect with off stage he only gets back on the stage here and yeah marky is just having a really hard time getting the stuff off yeah and i really gotta give it to marky though too i mean you know he's doing what he's supposed to do versus young one you know you have to try to especially when you have the like the air mobility that didn't no, oh not. my goodness <laughs> not quite enough yeah um, i'm pretty sure the crowd one is a lot more stronger that's like where the strength is on there Right. Yeah, but you know, you Which have to find because Young Link went kill the Nair, right? Six. Yeah. Yeah, the combo of Ender. Nair, finally? No, still not enough. Directional air dodge, maybe? No, goes right oh. underneath. Tries to get to reverse, but barely does not make it to that ledge. Yeah. Rare miss right there, too. Usually, like, the Links will, well, maybe not all the Links, but definitely Young Link and Tim Link will hold the bomb to try to get the reset if they're not, you know, in 100% trusting of their, their jumps and mobility at the time. But, um, you know, great option right there for Marky. Oh, the Jigglypuff Kung Fu is coming out. Yeah, the, that's the scariest thing against Jig is when you're off stage at low defense because you're fair and Nair are sending you no know, right? So you're just kind of just thinking to your death, especially covering those low edge guards, but kind of missing the opportunity now. Marvelous is going to be sitting at 53%, so to set up that situation is going to be a little harder. That's right. And climbing right here, I like it. I'm liking the same option right here for Marky though. You know, anytime you know Tim Link decides to kind of float around the shield, you see the immediate nair out of shield right here. Yes, very quick. Got to do for Tim but man, you got to keep care. Oh, back throw! Oh, barely getting away there. Oh, okay, but the up air does finally connect here, Marky. Trying to you know stay in there, and I mean that's that's what Jigs does best, right? You know, she's gonna stay in the air. She has incredible amounts of jumps. She has incredible air mobility, which is why she can kind of. Her neutral when she's in the air is just so hard to deal with. And that's going to be, like, in pretty much any Smash game. Yeah, I agree. I, I think, you know, there was a lot of mileage that was ganged off of Toon Link up air as well. Um, you know, there's a few times where... Because this is what Jigglypuff would traditionally try to do, especially when you're trying to get back to the ledge or if you're, you've used the jump and you're trying to get back to just the stage in general, she'll just kind of wait and just kind of, you know, wall you out with Nair, Forder, things as such. And what he was doing was he was kind of going up underneath the ledge. And since up air is such a long-lasting hitbox from all three of the links... Um, it was enough to kind of keep her at bay. That moment right there, though, um, obviously took the stock. But, yeah, man, I feel like it's just sometimes those small little nuances with your character that really kind of go to distance for you. Oh, yeah, for sure. Looks like Marvel's Marvel going to be banning Final Destination and Yoshi's Story. Uh, definitely understandable. Um, maybe just not feeling... I, I honestly don't know how strong Toon Link is on FD. Um, I feel like the ledge trapping can be pretty oppressive on your side because you have some bombs and stuff you can set up. And even just like up out of shield is very good on ledge trap. And you know, fire the stage is a good ledge trap the stage. Nonetheless, looks like I, I didn't I didn't catch what what stage we're going to actually on game two. 
yeah i didn't either i was too like i was too caught up in looking at the the capsule and the graphics i was like what is going on i love this okay looks like Kalos is the figure um most projectile characters like Kalos, uh just because you have a lot of space to look Humongous. And when you finally like corner somebody, you know, they have a bunch of space to run back, and you finally corner them at the edge of the stage, they also have that platform to you know, like kind of sneak away to. So this is just really, really good stage to check out in general. Obviously, um, it, there are going to be situations where you can take a check out character here. Like Marky just finding the stage comfortable. Oh my god. Yeah, a very unfortunate miss right there too. I can't imagine how much more difficult that move is to connect online. You know, not to say that the guy's uh, you know internet connection is you know, batteries, but that's definitely a uh, very precise move that needs a lot of precision, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Even a, a lot of really tough problems with fight. Uh, even we saw Marky early get a falling up there. That potentially could have been a red. Um, a little earlier. So getting falling up there is like generally hard to do with Jig, but if you get it, you usually pop. It. Marky's trying to go really, really high, but Marvel's gonna have the up air that's for that distance to kind of cover that. Yeah, and that's such an awkward move. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's such an awkward move to try to avoid as well. Like I kind of mentioned before in the previous match, it just lasts so long and then catches air dodges as well. So it's just one of the few moves in this game where you can't really dodge out of the way. You really just need to move. Yeah. And that was actually a really nice confirm earlier from uh, Marvelous. He actually, at 0%, he got sour up air. Like the ending part of up air, and then tumbled it right in up. I didn't know what was mm. Three solid damage up, but it's only two hits. Uh, like, that situation is pretty common. Yes, I think in a matchup like this, you know, uh, you know, obviously the more damage, the better. You, know, you have a lot of space to work with here, so I feel like if two characters, two players, is just decided to kind of slow the match down, uh, you know, it would probably make it a little bit difficult, a little bit more difficult. Oh my goodness, get their hand on one another, but again, some more damage up underneath. Oh, he didn't answer back. Very good, but still down a stock though. Yeah, that was just like such a huge call. From, I mean, from both players, really. So that, that was really nice, but Marvelous still out here with the stock lead. And you can see Marvelous kind of, you see these low down airs right before he hits the ground. And, um, I'm assuming he's doing that just to uh, mix up carry timing. Just because it, anything that like stops your momentum and then downward, it's going to stagger that attack. So right. if they go for a parry, they just drop their shield and hit the down air. Um, I see Peaks do that. Like, any character that like kind of has this kind of down air. Really good stuff here, nonetheless. Even percentage, but oh man, Jigglypuff is definitely going to die a lot soon. Or I also like how he's down there, um, you know, kind of mixing up on which side he's landing on, too. Because I know a lot yeah. of characters will always try to grab the down there, whether it's like links or if it's like horns, whatever the case may be. One of those down there's that kind of stop the ground. Um, so it's like oh, yeah. forcing the to uh, narrow out his shield as opposed to go for the grab and get some free damage afterwards. So, really good stuff here. And I love how uh, how aggressive Marvelous is off stage. Even though Jigglypuff should be the one kind of commanding that area, this bomb should talk. Get back up. Can you make it? Oh yes, my again. Wow, what a recovery by Marvel's party. Damn, man, it confirmed right after. Jeez, can you give me some time to breathe? Give me some time to breathe. There is no time to breathe, Korean. There is none, man. Like, this, that was just ridiculous. But I feel him, though. Like, down there just became such a thorn. Um, in his side to deal with, you know, it was forcing him to just go for narrow out of shield as opposed to for going something, going for something a little bit more meteor. But that right there, that was, that was the meanest bait I have seen. That pretty, pretty sure that whole set. That was, that was mean. Yeah, the, the pressure was just relentless. He kept going and going. Um, pretty much marvelous. And, and like I said, he was so confident off stage too, right? Like we saw every time he put Jigs off stage, he was going after. Even though like Jigs can get a very disgusting reversal like if jigs just snares your double jump as you're trying to come up and double jump aerial or something like that or you know snuffs you out uh two links recovery is not that great i mean and that's something that's like for most of the link characters unless you have things like bomb to help you right and even so we saw you know at the very ending of that last game he pretty much couldn't make it back the bomb but he he pulled the bomb early and that's i mean most link mains are gonna know like right when you get sent off stage if you can pull a bomb for free and not get punished for it do it because uh it could it essentially gives you one extra chance. Like, oh, hey, they got they they like hit your double jump here. Like, you you get one more chance with this bomb up you, right? So that was really fun to watch. 
Yeah, that too. And I'm pretty sure Toon Link's bomb takes the longest to detonate, if I'm not mistaken, right? Um, because of course Big Link can just blow his up whenever he wants willy nilly. Though that does it does have a duration as well. Um, and right. then of course there's Young Link, but I'm pretty sure Toon Link's is the one that takes the longest. So yeah, yeah. it's it really like that that space where you're like you said where you're off stage and you really have to pull it, but you're not sure when you need to pull it. I think that really makes all the difference, especially versus a character like Jigglypuff, because we didn't really like. I know we talked about it, but like, before the game started, you see the two characters on stage. You're like, okay, obviously Toon Link has projectiles. This is gonna make it right. a little bit harder for me to just kind of jump around him for free. Um, and then, of course, not just the projectile, but kind of what he gets off of the projectiles as well, too, at lower percents. Um, you get like bomb forward air, bomb up air, done correctly. Um, and of course, Jigglypuff, kind of light, just maybe just a little light. Kind of needs to hit the gym. Kind of needs to have something to yeah. eat. Um, but yeah, kind of round that all off. Ooh, so that was really, really good, just playing like to each other's strengths and weaknesses. No real edge guards on Toon Link. Um, if you can't edge guard the Link, you're probably going to be in for a bad time on stage. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, we're going to take a look at the Red Bull replay here coming up to our last match. So I'm really excited. Like I said, th this, this game was just was really fun just to watch because of how aggressive Marcus Marcus would be off stage and how he would set up a lot of his kills. Uh, yeah, that falling up here just gonna go ahead and close out that game number one. And this this first stock on Cal's actually looked really even, but the jump call out Marcus Marcus was just really not really giving Marky any room to work, you know. And yep. this was the recovery. Oh, and and the crazy thing is, I I don't did he wall, I I don't think he can he wall jumped right. He had to have like tech jumped from the bomb mm -hmm. to make that. And then the boomerang confirm right into the up smash as he makes his entrance back on stage after that long as hell edge.